Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. Today we're going to discuss three of the primary Ethereum mining pools. We're going to compare Ethermine, we're going to compare Nanopool, and we're going to compare Flexpool. We're going to do a two-week normalized test, and we're going to find out which of these three pools is the most profitable from a small miner perspective. Before we dive into that, I just wanted to say thank you to Seb Heslo. The chill beats that you're going to hear throughout this video are actually his, and he has graciously allowed us to use them. He is also also an avid miner so make sure to check out his content like and subscribe i'll put links down in the description let's uh let's throw one up in the header too so without further ado let's spin that intro Real quickly, let's go over our setup for our pool testing. For our pool testing, we're going to use three pools. We're going to use Ethermine, we're going to use Nano Pool, and we're going to use a Flex Pool. All three of these pools are set up differently with a slight variation on the fee structure and the minimum payouts. Let's go over those real quickly. Ethermine is ranked the second highest hash rate of any pools with 94.92 terahash. Nano Pool is comes in at sixth with 20.86 terahash and flex pool comes in at 12th with 6.66 terahash all of these pools are pplns if you don't know what pplns is that is pay per last in shares here's how they define it when a pool mines a block the reward system automatically checks up the latest in shares that were submitted by the miners and distributes those rewards proportionally across the list of miners so that's what a pplns pool payout structure is now over on the fees the ethermine has a one percent fee nano pool has a one percent fee and flex pool is listed as a zero percent fee but it has a one percent donation already built in so unless you manually go in and take out that donation it too is a one percent fee minimum payouts ethermine is listed as a 0.1 minimum payout but with the caveat that they will pay out if you have 0.05 ethereum after a seven day period they will pay it out same goes with if you have a 0.01 eth after 14 days ethermine will pay it out nano pool it is a 0.1 minimum payout but you can go to 0.05 ethereum to get your payout that will incur an additional fee so you should never do that unless you really need the payout for some reason or you're done using nano pool and you want your payout and you're moving to a different pool flex pool it has a 0.05 ethereum payout uh, threshold and I did not see any additional fee occurred so that's interesting you can actually use a lower minimum payout without incurring a penalty on flex pool for the testing I have six GPUs in one rig it, they are all 30 series 3060 Ti and 3070s they all hash at about the same rate so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group two GPUs on each pool and I'm going to try to normalize those GPUs as much as possible so that I'm having a very close hash rate on each of the three pools and then of course we'll measure to see how much we've earned after one day after seven days after 14 days after 28 days that way we get our accurate reflection of the actual profitability with this specific setup in this specific time frame on these three pools here's where i grouped the gpus i took all uh six and i got the actual current hash rates and then i grouped them as possible close as possible to get a very consistent close hash rate so i used gpu zero and two on nano pool which was hashing at 122.98 mega hash gpu one and five grouped together will give me 123.06 on flex pool and gpu three and four combined for 122.85 and i'm going to put those on ethereum here are the models of those actual cards we have a founders edition 3070 two 3060 ti gaming oc pros and two 3070 gigabyte gaming ocs and one 
3070 gigabyte Vision OC model. So that should set us up and get us going. Let's set up these pools. We'll go ahead and you were using T-Rex Miner on all these. I didn't mention that. We're going to use T-Rex Miner because it's the best for Windows and 30 series cards for sure right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on T-Rex. We're going to make three different bat files, put two GPUs on each pool and get these things hashing and then start testing them out. Then we're going to go over into the pool. We're going to make sure that they are reading right, that we're getting all valid shares, that we are getting accurate data. And then we're going to check our response after one after seven after 14 and after 28 days so let's get this uh, testing done in the name of science all right real quick let's hop over into our remote session on my 30 series rig i have four 3070s two 3060 ti's on here i have them normalized and grouped in sections of two so i have two on ethermine i'm going to put two on flex pool and two on nano pool i used a brand new ethereum address for all three of these and i am going to try to get their hash rates as close as possible and then i'm going to let them two cards on each pool mine and see which is the most profitable after one day after seven days and at least after 14 days and we may push this clear out to 30 days to get some really accurate data and try to keep it as consistent as possible so let's go ahead and fire this up i'm using t-rex and i have set it up so that the specific cards will mine on each pool so let's start this it's 8 15 on April 1st. This is the ether mine and I have GPU 3 and GPU 4. That is a 3070 gigabyte and a 3060 Ti. I think one is the gaming OC Pro is the Ti and the other is a gaming OC 3070. Once this one fires up we'll start up flex pool and then we will start up the nano pool. And then we're going to let these things run. All right, so that one's up and running. 122.8 mega hash initially. Now let's start flex pool. All right, real quick, I had to switch my flex pool. I was on the US dot east, and for some reason it would not connect. It did yesterday, so then I switched to the US dot west address on a flex pool right here. I switched from the US east. To US West and now I have connected successfully so I have all three of the uh, miners up and running it's t-rex it's got flex pool with two cards I've got nano pool with two cards and I've got ether mine with two cards 122.82 on flex pool 122.93 on nano pool and 122.82 this is as close to normalized as i can get and i think the difference between the 122.82 and the 122.93 123 showing now is probably negligible in the actual amount of profits on a small scale between seven days and 14 days and 28 days so i think this should get us a great baseline we're gonna let these run we'll check them on the site and then we'll do some follow-up so let's see what our numbers are after seven days let's start with nano pool on nano pool let's do a fresh refresh here we have a balance of 0.03219554 that is about $64 worth USD 0.032 ethereum let's go over to flex pool flex pool is at 0.039 flex pool is smashing nano pool right now let's go over to ethermine ethermine 0.3287 which is only $66. So, let's scroll down right here. I've already moved the numbers over. $63, $64 for Nano Pool, $77 for Flex Pool, $66 for Ethermine. Keep in mind, Ethermine actually had problems on day one, so we should actually tack on a little bit more. And so what I did was I normalized over here. I took out one day's worth 
took out day one and made this a six day result over here. And a six day result is a completely accurate reflection of what I've been doing so far. So Flexpool is crushing it at $66, Ethermine in second at $58, and Nanopool pulling up the rear at $51. Okay, it's been two weeks. Let's go ahead and put a bow on this testing and get our results. Again, to recap, we had two graphics cards on Flexpool, two on Ethermine, and two on Nanopool. They were normalized to just around 103 mega hash on each pool, and then we did some sporadic testing throughout the two week period and recorded the numbers just to compare on so here are the official numbers down here if you note on the first day on ethermine i had issues with connecting the miner to the pool and it kept showing the connection was failing and it only earned seven dollars and 91 cents it was actually an issue with an older version of t-rex when i switched to a newer version that issue corrected the funny thing is that issue didn't happen on flex pool or nano pool so long story short that first day on ethermine is a bit off then on the 8th of april we had an issue on flex pool where we disconnected and we lost about 16 hours worth of results on that day so what i ended up doing was i had my 14 day total right in here and after just a normal 14 day total with no changes we had 173 dollars worth of eth for nano pool 187 for flex pool and 180 for ethermine then what i did was i went back and normalized the results to correct those two days those two faulty days and how i did that was i took all the other days averages for those pools and i removed the day of actual earnings and then i put in an average day of earnings and that's how i got my normalized adjusted results so the two week results are right here in the green column and as you can see nano pool got blown out of the water by Flexpool and Ethermine, but the interesting part was that Flexpool and Ethermine were pretty much equal after two weeks. After one week, Flexpool was blowing away Ethermine, and Ethermine must have had some more luck throughout hitting blocks, and they actually pulled back up and they finished just ahead. So, in all honesty, the results are this if you want to pick Flexpool, pick Flexpool. You want to pick Ethermine? Pick Ethermine. If you want to pick Nanopool, don't pick Nanopool because these results after two weeks are pretty discouraging looking. Um, there's a pretty big disparity between Nanopool and Flexpool and Ethermine. And to be honest, there weren't stale shares. It wasn't like that we weren't connecting properly to Nanopool or we were having any issues. Throughout the week, I checked it daily and made sure that all connections were good and we weren't having invalids and we weren't hitting stale shares. Real quick, before we jump into the outro, I wanted to show you a couple of quick important resources that you can use. I'll make sure to put links down in the description for both of these. This is the miningpoolstat.stream. This shows you all of the Ethereum mining pools and their statistics and you can thumb down through them and you can jump to them if you need to and you can see that sparkpool.com is the largest pool currently at 123 terahash ether mine is number two that's one of the ones we tested and then nano pool we tested is number six and if we pull down flex pool is clear up to number 10 it is quickly pushing up which is good to see um, i'm personally a new fan of flex pool so let's jump over into our other resource while i was in discord i was discussing my testing and the results and someone suggested this website and i actually had never seen this website before this is pretty nice it's called ethminingpools.tk and this is actually measuring the profitability of all the ethereum mining pools for the last, last X amount of blocks. So if we click here, it will show us this is based on the last 45,271 blocks and they give you a date range. So they're comparing from April 12th through April 19th. So this is live data that just keeps rolling and then it's going to compare the most profitable pools. This is a very key resource that you can use um, if you pull down through here you can see flex pull as i suspect towards the top at number four that's pretty solid let's scroll down and find nano pool is right there so it's not too shabby and then it actually has ether mine below nano pool 
on this specific set of blocks from the 12th through the 19th. A lot of your testing is based on pool luck on hitting the blocks. So if you don't hit a lot of blocks one week, maybe you hit a lot more the next week. And then that's how your two week average actually does a little better in my opinion. But it is nice to see a one week at rolling average so you can see who's the most profitable. Again, I'll put links for this in the description. Let's hop into the outro. There you have it. After two weeks of testing, Ethermine and Flexpool basically earned me about the same amount of profit. Nanopool, you failed the test. Personally, I'm moving all my rigs off of Nanopool and onto Flexpool. I'm going to be heavily monitoring to make sure that those profits stay up and we're going to see how the payouts go over an extended period of time. We'll report back later if we see any change, obviously. If you're new to mining or you need some mining help, make sure to join the Hash Raptor Discord or the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of people in there willing to help you get up and running and help you troubleshoot. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.